Stephen Boss was born in Montgomery, Alabama on September 29, 1982. He was always spinning and staying in motion, which earned him the nickname Twitch. According to the Philadelphia Sunday newspaper, after studying dance at a community college, he competed on Star Search and appeared on MTV's The Wade Robson Project. In 2008, he competed on So You Think You Can Dance. My name is Stephen Boss, a.k.a. Twitch. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. And then he was able to parlay that TV success into a film career. It was on the set of So You Think You Can Dance that he met Minnesota native and mother of one, Allison Holker. Twitch told Dance Spirit website that besides getting caught checking her out in a hallway, he didn't talk to her or interact with her at all. Allison thought he was cute, and she observed from a distance how cool and fun his personality was. She tried to put the moves on him about 10 times. She told Dance Spirit website that she would brush up against him, grab his bottom, or try to touch his arm whenever possible. However, Twitch wasn't feeling it and never flirted back. Outside of rehearsals, they avoided each other for the most part. Separately, they were social and hung out with all the other all-stars on the cast, but they never even had a real conversation. During a night out at a party, Allison met Twitch's mom and brother, and she even danced with Twitch for a little bit. She told Dance Spirit website that she thought it was time to make her move. This time, Twitch understood the assignment, and he asked her for her number, but he didn't call her. Allison wasn't about to give up, though. She eventually got his number and started texting him. Nothing came of their text conversation at that time. Then in 2010, during the So You Think You Can Dance Season 7 rap party, she decided she would go all in. She showed up at the party and was on a mission to find him. She walked through the crowd and saw him at the other end of the room. Allison told Dance Spirit website that he pointed at her and motioned with his fingers to tell her to come here. They went upstairs and danced for three hours straight. Twitch said, we danced the entire night and we've been together ever since. Allison told Hollywood Life website that they never had a first date and they never had a conversation longer than hello and how are you. But on that night that they danced together, they decided to become an item. Within three weeks of dating, she asked him if he wanted to have children, and he told her he was hoping to have about seven or eight. He liked the idea of a big family since he didn't grow up in one. After season seven ended, Allison went on tour with So You Think You Can Dance, and Twitch went on tour with the LXD. Then she moved to Toronto to work on a project, and he went to Miami to film a movie. In their first year of dating, they were separated for nine months. In her past relationships, she always had an issue with men who said they were cool with her traveling for work, but a lot of her boyfriends didn't understand her lifestyle. Things were different with Twitch. Allison told Dance Spirit website that they spent the first year of their relationship on Skype. It proved how much they were committed to each other because although they were on different schedules, they made time to chat with each other every night. Twitch had already met Allison's daughter, Wesley, before they started dating, but when they became an item, she was more careful about Twitch's interactions with her daughter. There was also the issue of dating a co-worker, and she didn't want things to be weird if they didn't work out. She told AskMen.com that in the end, she decided that love was a risk, and if you don't take a risk, you'll never be able to grow. Once she realized that their relationship was going to go the distance, which was about six months after they started dating, she allowed Twitch to spend more time with her daughter. Eventually, Twitch became like a second father to Wesley, and Allison loved watching their father-daughter relationship bloom. Her parents loved him as well. He fit perfectly into their family, and she knew he was the one. In January 2013, he proposed on the set of a Microsoft commercial, and Allison said yes. They tied the knot in December of that same year and eventually welcomed two children, Zaya and Maddox. In 2014, he joined The Ellen DeGeneres Show as a guest DJ and eventually became a permanent fixture on the show and co-executive producer. He also co-hosted Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings with Allison and appeared in several high-profile films and shows, including Magic Mike, Double XL, Modern Family, and Step Up All In. During a 2017 interview on the Aubrey Marcus podcast, Twitch revealed that he was overcoming some hardships in his life. Although he didn't get specific, he added that fatherhood added another level of pressure. No matter what, even if something seems very devastating, like there's some kind of force that's going to keep going. Your bounce back immediately doesn't have to be this like Hollywood story. Like you're writing the intro to a book. Dog. Like, I had the gun in my hand. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Allison told E! News that Twitch was doing an amazing job as a father and stepdad. 
She said watching him with their children was a blessing and he was the greatest example of a man and a father. She added that he made their family feel very safe and inspired, and she falls in love with him all over again every morning they wake up together. Their family life was centered around the kitchen where they would hang out and communicate with each other every day. They would cook, listen to music, and dance, of course. In February 2020, Us Weekly asked if they were planning to add another baby to their family. Allison told the magazine they weren't opposed to it. They just want to make sure they're able to spread the love evenly among all of their children and give them the attention they deserved. As for Twitch, he changed his tune about having seven or eight children after witnessing what Allison went through while giving birth. He left it up to her to decide whether they would expand their family. In 2020, they celebrated their seventh wedding anniversary and 10 years as a couple. Twitch told ET Canada he was looking forward to the next 15 and 20 years as well. Allison added that they loved observing older couples and the love they still had for each other after so many years. She said, we love watching old couples holding hands. We can't wait to be old. While they spent a lot of time apart at the start of their relationship, things changed as the years passed by. In October 2022, Allison told OK Magazine that they would wake up together, go to the office together, and work together all day. They were enjoying every minute, and she said it felt like they were back in the honeymoon phase of their relationship. On December 14, 2022, just days after their ninth wedding anniversary, Twitch left their family home without his vehicle and without warning. Allison visited an LAPD office and was adamant that something was wrong because they didn't have an argument or an issue. He simply got up and left, and it was out of character for him. According to TMZ, law enforcement officials followed her back to her home, and they did a brief check around the property to see if they could find any clues. As Allison insisted that this was very odd for Twitch, law enforcement considered listing him as a critical missing person. However, a 911 call came in shortly after Allison contacted the cops, and it was revealed that Twitch's body was discovered at a motel near their home. The cause of his passing was determined to be a self-inflicted wound. He was only 40 years old. Allison confirmed his passing in a statement that read, to say he left a legacy would be an understatement, and his positive impact will continue to be felt. Motel employees said Twitch wasn't visibly upset when he checked into his room, and sources reported the entertainer had a bunch of exciting projects lined up in the near future. His passing sent shockwaves through the industry and beyond. It also sheds more light on how we can all be more supportive of others because you never know what kind of battle someone is facing behind closed doors.